Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-138 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler, 9th edition. And the topic that we are covering here is curved beam. So statement is the curved member is made from material having allowable bending stress 100 megapascal determine the maximum allowable internal moment M that can be applied to the member. So you can see this is a curved member clear and its allowable bending stress is 100 megapascal so you have to determine the internal maximum internal moment that can be applied to this curved beam so let's start with the solution first of all you should know about the formula that are used in curved beam so first one is sigma is equal to m into r minus r divided by a into e multiplied by r the second one is e is equal to r dash minus capital R and the third one is R uh, our third one is R is equal to A over integral of D A over R for the entire area. So we will see them what is this terms. So M is the moment R what is R? R is distance from this uh, center of curvature to the to the point where its neutral axis lie. And what is this small r? So r can be any distance. It's, it's distance from center of the curvature to the any point. It can be here. It can be here. It can be anywhere where you want to find the stress. And what, what is this r dash? So r dash is distance from center of curvature till the centroid of this section. So we will see them one by one. So start. let's start from finding r dash. So what is R dash? So R dash is distance from uh, this uh, center of curvature to the centroid of this. As we see that this is rectangular section. So its centroid will be in the mid of this. So if I take a horizontal line. So this point at this point, this uh, uh, its centroid will be there. And distance from this center of curvature till this centroidal, till this centroid of this curved beam is represented as r dash so r dash is distance my here from the center of curvature to the centroid of this section and this r dash you can see this is equal to this radius of curvature is given as 200 millimeter so 200 plus you can see the half of this is 100 millimeter clear so 100 plus 200 is 300 so this r dash will be equal to 300 millimeter and that in meter it is 0 0.3 meter so i will write r is equal to 0 0.3 meter next uh, term that we will find is capital r and what is capital r so capital r is distance from the center of this curvature till the point where its neutral axis lie so we will find this r so r is equal to a over integral of d a divided by r for the entire area so first we will find this area. So what is area? So you can see the cross section is given over here. This is 100 by 200 millimeter. So in meter it will be e So area of rectangle is breadth multiplied by height. So breadth is 0 0.1 meter and height is 0 0.2 meter. And the unit will be square meter. So this is area and now we will find this term which is integral of dA over R for the entire area. So for this we will use the table that is shown over here. You can see you have shape in the first column and integral of d a over r for the entire area. The formula is given. So here we have this rectangular shape clear and we also have here the rectangular shape. So what we will do is that this line represent the axis passing through center of curvature. So from center of curvature the the, uh, the base of this rectangle is r1 and the upper one is r2 so we locate we will locate so you can see this is the if i draw a horizontal line from the center of curvature clear axis of center of curvature so this this first distance which we represented as r1 will be equal to how much it will be equal to this 200 uh, it will be equal to 0. 2 meter and another distance from this axis of center of curvature till the outer 
layer is represented as R2. So it will be, R2 will be this one. And you can see this distance is 0 0.2 and this is also 200 millimeter which is 0 0.2. So R2 will be equal to 0 0.4. And the formula that we will use for here it will be equal to this will be equal to bread time ln of R2 over R1. So what is bread? So you can see the bread is 100 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.1. And what is we will write ln of what is R2? So R2 is 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.2. Okay. So this will give you this term. Now put these two values in this formula R is equal to A divided by integral of dA over R for the entire area A. So area is equal to 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by this value which is 0 0.1 multiplied by ln of 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.2. So when you calculate it you will get this capital R and this capital R comes out to be 0 0.288539 meter. So we will represent it on the diagram. So this R will be equal to distance from neutral axis till the centroid, uh, till, the, uh, till the point of location of neutral axis. So this is 0 0.3 as it is less than 0 0.3. So this will be the point clear and this distance from this till this point this will be equal to this point this will be equal to capital R and this capital R is equal to 0 0.288539 meter okay now you have all these values so we will find this E over here and we know that E is equal to I have written over here this E is equal to R dash minus R so R dash is how much you can see this is 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 minus 0 0.288539 meter and when you calculate it this E will be equal to 0 0.011461 meter. Now we are interested to cal calculate the maximum allowable internal moment so we know that maximum bending moment occur uh, at the, this top or bottom surface so you can see that due to this movement this movement will cause this uh, curved beam to be flattened clear so the upper portion this portion will be in tension and the lower portion will become in uh, compression clear so what we will do is that we will designate these points this is point a and this is point b and I will also represent it over here A and B. So we will find the uh, movement, uh, we will apply the, uh, the bending stress formula, this one, for both points A and B in order to determine the maximum allowable bending stress. So I will write allowable bending stress, bending stress so for point a for point a first we will find for point a so which is in tension which is in tension so the formula our maximum stress our allowable stress at point a this formula will become this formula will become m into capital r and what is small r? So small r is distance from center of curvature to anywhere where you want to find the stress. Since we are interested to find out the stress at this point, so this will be equal to Ra, which is equal to 200 millimeter R0.2. So I will write Ra divided by area into E multiplied by Ra. Now put the value, uh, we will put the value in this equation okay so allowable stress is given as how much it is given as 100 mega pascal so i will write 100 into 10 to the power 6 will convert it into pascal and this movement which is not known and we are interested to find out this movement m 
and R is capital R is 0 0.288539 minus RA. So RA, I have told you that this RA was this distance, which is equal to 0 0.2 meter. So I will write minus 0 0.2 divided by area. Area is 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.2 from the cross section. Clear? And what is E? So E is equal to this one. 0 0.011461 multiply by RA. RA is 0 0.2. So when you solve this for M, so this moment M will be equal to 100 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.2 multiply by 0 0.011461 multiply by 0 0.2 and that, that is divided by 0 0.288539 minus 0 0.2. So when you solve this, you will get the maximum allowable bending moment for point R, for point A comes out to be 51778.27 Newton meter and this in Kilo Newton meter it is equal to 51.8 kilo Newton into meter. So this is the value of bending allowable bending moment for point A. Now we will move toward point B for point B for point B which is in compression. I have already shown you and I will again show you that this point B, you can see due to this moment, this point B will be in compression. So this allowable bending stress will be negative. So I will write again the formula will be equal to allowable stress will be equal to M into R minus for RB we are finding this divided by A into E into RB. So allowable bending stress is 100 megapascal. So at point B it is in compression. So I will write minus 100 into 10 to the power 6. The moment is there. Not available. We are interested to find out this moment. So moment into capital R which is 0 0.288539 minus RB. What is RB? So RB is distance from the center of curvature till point B. So this distance is 200. And this distance is also, you can see this is 200. So total is 400 millimeters. So in meter it is 0 0.4. So I will write minus 0 0.4 divided by area. Area is 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.2 into E. E is 0 0.011461 multiplied by this RB. RB is 0 0.4. So from here, you will get this moment will be equal to minus 100 into 10 raised to power 6 multiply by 0 0.1 multiply by 0 0.2 multiply by 0 0.011461 multiply by 0 0.4 divide by this term which is 0 0.288539 minus 0 0.4. So when you solve this, you will get the value of moment comes out to be 822610.26.10. Let me write, correct it. This is 8226.10 Newton meter and in kilo Newton meter, it is equal to 82.260 kilo newton into meter now this is the value of bending moment allow maximum allowable bending moment for point b so you have two values one is this one and another one is this one so what we will do is that we will choose the smallest one because it will be the safer it will not exceed uh, the allowable maximum allowable bending stress at both the points so my answer is that choose M is equal to 51.8 kilo Newton into meter, which is the answer of our this question.
and that was all about this uh, problem 6-138 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching welcome back in this video we are going to solve problem 6-139 that is taken from chapter number 6 bending and book name is mechanics of material by rc hibler 9 edition so statement is the curved beam is subjected to a bending moment of 40 pounds into feet determine the maximum bending stress in the beam also sketch a two-dimensional view of the stress distribution acting on section aa so you can see this is the curved beam layer that is acted upon by this movement m and which is given as 40 pound into feet so you, due to this movement you have to determine the maximum bending stress in the beam so let's start with the solution so here you can see we i have written the formula that is used in curved beam the first one is this one second one is this one and third one is this one so in this formula sigma is equal to normal stress or bending stress m is the moment that is given what is this capital r so capital r is distance from this center of curvature till to the point where its neutral axis lies so this distance is r we will find this clear what is this small r so small r is distance from the centroid center of this curvature to the any point it can be here it can be here it can be anywhere so where you want to find the stress and this r dash will be equal to distance from this center of curvature till the centroid of this section so we will find them each by each so let's start with the finding radius r dash r dash which is the distance i will write a distance from center of curvature to the centroid to centroid of section clear so we will find that what is the center of curvature so you can see this arc is bent in a curve and it is forming a arc having uh, radius is 3 inch so this is center of curvature so what if i i extend this center of curvature or x is passing through this center of curvature and let take this as a reference line in order to find the uh, centroid of this section which is t section so for that i will write the formula this r dash will be equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area so let this is your first try uh, this first rectangle is your part one and this second rectangle is your part two so for from this we will get y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 divided by sum of area which is equal to a1 plus a2 and we, what is area a1 so i will write it a1 is equal to you can see here this is 2 and this is 0 0.5 so 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 square inch what is area a2 so area a2 is you can see this height is 2 and this width is 0 0.5 so it will be again 2 into 0 0.5 square inch now what is y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from this reference line or from the center of curvature till the mid of this first section so you can see we have to find this distance which is y1 dash and this y1 dash you can see that this distance is equal to this is 3 inch so 3 inch plus 2 inch 5 inch plus 0 0.25 so this will be equal to 5.25 inch so i will write it y1 dash is equal to 5.25 inch 5.25 Inch. now what is y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from this centroid of section of curved beam till the mid of second section so this distance is already you can see this is already three clear 
so 3 and half of 2 is 4 so this distance is 4 inch and I will write it here this is equal to y2 dash y2 dash and this that is equal to 4 inch okay now 4 inch now I put all these values in this formula so r dash will become equal to y1 dash is 5.25 multiply by 2 multiply by 0 0.5 which is area a1 plus y2 dash is 4 inch into 2 area a2 which is 2 multiply by 0 0.5 divide by I will write 2 multiply by 0 0.5 plus 2 multiply by 0 0.5. So when you solve this you will get this r dash which is distance from center of curvature to the centroid of section comes out to be 4.625 inch this is this r dash okay now i will remove these things so in order to have a clear understanding about what is r dash so let me plot it so r dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of uh, sorry uh, distance from the center of curvature till this centroid this is that this is the centroid so this distance is r dash distance from the center of curvature till the centroid of this section is r dash and this r dash is 4.625 inch now we will move toward finding second term which is capital r so capital r you can see it is equal to area divided by integral of dA over R for the entire area. So what is the area, total area? So total area A is equal to A1 plus A2 which is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 into 0 plus 0 0.5 multiplied by 2. So 1 plus 1 will give you total area will be equal to 2 square inch. Okay. Now the second term here is this one. So I will write integral of dA over R for the entire area. So you can see this, these two portions are rectangle 1 and 2 and they are away from this reference line. So for that we will take the value of this, this from this table. Since our shapes are rectangle, so this line is the axis of axis passing through curvature so you can see that this from this axis the uh, the rectangle is locating at a distance of r1 from this and r2 from this having width or breadth is equal to b so as we have two triangle so first we uh, the formula is the general formula will be equal is equal to b into ln of r2 over r1 but as we have two sections so I will write integral of dA a over R. This is not dA, this is A. This is A. Okay. For the first section, let me show you here. You can see this will be, this is the centroid uh, axis passing through this center of curvature. So for that, for section 2, let take section 2 first. So for section 2 this will be equal to R1 so R1 is 3 inch you can see 3 inch and R2 is distance from this center, center of curvature till the top layer. So this is equal to 2, 2 plus 3 is 5 so R1 is 3 and R2 is equal to 5. So I will write it and the width is 0 0.5 for this so I will write the B is equal to 0 0.5 ln of r1 was uh, r1 was uh, r2 was 5 and r1 was 3 so this is for first section now we will move toward the second section which is this one so for that r1 will one will be this one which is equal to 5 and r2 is this one which is equal to 5.5 inch and breadth here you can see the sec the breadth of this section is 2 so I will write plus 2 into ln of 5.5 divided by 5. So when you solve this, this will give you 
zero point four four six zero three inch. Now you have both the values. You can just plug it in this formula, which is equal to R, and area is two divided by this integral of d over r for the entire area is zero point four four six zero three. So when you solve this, you will get this four point four eight zero inch. Now what is this r? It is the distance from the centroid till the neutral axis of this curved beam because in curved beam the neutral axis do not pass through does not pass through the centroid so this will be r so you can see this r is 4.480 and which is below from this centroid so let this distance is capital r i will write it over here this capital r is equal to 4.48 uh, sorry 4.4840 inch okay now we will find you can see we have find out this capital r we have find out this r dash and r clear so we'll find this e so e will be equal to r dash minus r so r dash is how much r dash is this 4.625 minus r is 4.480 so when you solve this you will get this is equal to 0.14 one zero inch now each and every value is available except this r this r i have already told you that this is the distance from this center of curvature to the any point where you want to find the stress it can be anywhere like this and since we have been asked to determine the maximum bending stress in the beam so maximum bending stress will either occur at this point or at this point let this point is point A and this point is point B, and you can see due to this movement, the beam will straighten up and this top portion will become in in com, uh, in compression. Clear? Uh, sorry, this uh, this top due to this movement, this upper one will be in compression and this bottom one will be in tension. Okay. Now what we will do is that we have been given the uh, max uh, bending moment here so just plug it in this formula this is the formula so for for point for point a which what what is point a point a is this a so this distance will be equal to r a this is your point a and this is your point b so this is equal to r a so first we will find the allowable bending stress for point A. So for point A, R A is equal to how much? R A is equal to 3 inch plus this 2 plus 0 0.5 which is 5.5. I will write R A is 5.5 inch. And since point A is in compression, so I will write sigma A is equal to m into capital r minus r a divided by e a into e into r a so put the value m is equal to how much that is given as 40 pounds into feet so we will convert this 40 pound into feet in 40 multiplied by 12 will convert it into 40 uh, 40 multiplied by 12 will convert it into pound into inch so this is the value of moment what is capital r capital r is 4.480 minus this r a r a is 5.5 divide by area area is 2 what is e so we have calculated e where is e where is e e is here this is e this is e so 0 0.1410 multiply by r a is 5.5 so when you solve this you will get stress normal stress at point a come out to be 3 minus 314 psi so this is equal to 314 psi and it means that point a is in compression negative sign shows that point a is in compression now we'll move toward uh, finding the bending stress for point a so b so bending stress 
or point B, which is in tension. So the formula sigma B will be equal to M multiplied by capital R minus R B divided by A into E multiplied by R B. What is R B? So R B is distance from center of curvature till this point B, which is equal to three inch. Here, so I will write R B is equal to R B is equal to three inch. Rest all values are available. Moment was how much? Forty pound into feet. So forty multiplied by twelve will convert the unit into pound into inch. Multiply by R capital R was four point four eight zero minus R B is three divided by area was two. E was zero point one four one zero multiply by R B is three. So when you calculate it, you will get stress at point B comes out to be eight forty two psi. Since the value is positive, so it means that point B is in tension. Okay. So these are the answers of our this question. Now in second part, it is given that sketch the two-dimensional view of stress distribution acting on section AA. So this is section AA. So I will take this section AA. So let this is section AA, and you can see the the rest of the portion of this will be like this. And we again know that this R dash capital R. Is distance from this center uh, center of curvature till the neutral axis is four point four eight zero. So let this is your four point four eight zero. This is the location of neutral axis. Clear? So about neutral axis, we have seen that point A was in compression. Clear? And point B was in tension. So I will draw this or point A. This top portion was. This is sigma a, which is three four three hundred fourteen. So this will be three hundred fourteen psi, and this is neutral axis. So in curved beam, it will follow a hyperbola. Clear? So this will and at this is your point a, at this is your point b. So at b, the bending stress was eight forty two psi, and it will be in. Tension. So this hyperbola will follow like this here, and you can see this members in compression, and this will be in tension. Okay. So this is the sketch or stress distribution acting on section AA, and that was all about this problem six dash one thirty nine. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem six dash one forty that is taken from chapter number six bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R C Hibbler nine edition. And the topic is curved beam. Statement is the curved beam is made from material having an allowable bending stress, twenty four ksi. Determine the maximum moment m that can be applied to the beam. You can see this is the curved beam clear, and that is acted upon by a moment m, and the allowable uh, bending stress is given as twenty four ksi. So you have to determine this internal moment, largest value of this internal moment m that can be applied to this curved beam. So let's start with the solution. Here I have written the formula that is used in curved beam is the one is for the bending stress E is equal to eccentricity, which is R dash minus R, and this capital R is equal to A over integral of d A over R for the entire area A. Now, what is m? M is the moment. Sigma is bending stress. What is capital R? So, capital R is distance from this uh, center of curvature till the point where its neutral axis lies. So, this will be capital R. What is this R dash? So, R dash is distance from this center of curvature to the point of centroid of this section. And remember, in curved beam, they do not lies 
in single points uh, always this uh, r dash or the distance from center of curvature till centroid is greater than this r clear so we'll find this r and r dash first and then we will solve this problem so starting from this i will first find this r uh, r dash so r dash is equal to it is distance let me write it distance from center of curvature center of curvature till the point of neutral axis neutral axis uh, no it's the point of centroid not neutral axis point of centroid so where its centroid lies for so first we'll find this r dash so r dash will be equal to for this t shape cross section we know that its centroid will be equal to y dash into a divided by sum of area so let this first rectangle is this one this is your first rank rectangle i will write it one and this is your second rectangle so according to this the formula will become y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 divided by a1 plus a2 now what is a1 so i will write it you can see for this first rectangle the a1 will be 2 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 1 so i will write 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 and that is equal to 1 square inch clear what is a2 so a2 for this is a area of a2 which is 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 again 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 and that will give you 1 square inch now what is y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from this centroidal axis if i extend it so this is the centroidal axis so distance from centroidal axis till the mid of first section is y dash 1. So you can see this is y dash 1. And this distance is equal to this up till this distance. This is 3 inch, 3 inch plus 2 inch, 5 inch and 0 0.5 divided by 2 is 0 0.25. So total distance will be equal to 5.25 inch. So I will write it 5.25. 5 inch so y1 dash is 5.25 inch now what is y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from the center uh, from the center of curvature till the mid of second section so this distance is equal to 2 divided by 1 1 and this will be y2 dash okay so y2 dash will be equal to it will be equal to let me show you this distance is 3 inch and this is 1. So this is 4 inch. So I will write 4 inch. 4 inch. Now you have all this value. Just plug it in this formula. So you will get R dash which is equal to 5.25 multiplied by area A1 is 1 plus Y2 dash is 4 multiplied by area A2 is 1 divided by sum of area. So A1 is also 1 plus a2 is also 1 so when you solve this you will get this r dash which is equal to 4.4 4 4.625 inch which is distance from this center of curvature till the centroid of this section so let's say this distance is r dash so i will remove this remaining things this was for your understanding here so i will represent this r dash first over here so r dash let's say this is the centroid c this point is c this point so this distance was equal to that we calculated is r dash and this r dash is equal to 4.625 inch okay now what we will do is that we have find this r we will find this r dash uh, 
sorry r dash we have find out this r dash we'll find this r and we know that this r is equal to this is the formula for r area divided by integral of da over r for the entire area so area is equal to we have already calculated total area area a is the total area of the cross section so total area we have calculated is a1 plus a2 i will also write it so that you do not confuse so this is 2 inch now what is this integral a da over r so for this we will have this table 6.1 where you, on the left side you have shape and on the right side you have this term formula for the this term so for rectangle this is this one or triangle or circle and for elliptical shape so here we have this uh, rectangle shape so this line shows you the axis passing through center of curvature so from center of curvature the base of the rectangle is r1 and the top layer is at a distance of r2 so here we have two rectangle rectangle 1 and 2 so first we will find this formula will become equal to sum of the two rectangle clear so the first one here you can see for rectangle 2 its breadth is 0 0.5 clear and r1 will be this is from this is the cent, uh, x centroidal uh, center of a uh, uh, center of curvature so from center of curvature this r1 is equal to 3 inch and this r2 will be equal this will be r2 for rectangle 2 so r2 will be equal to 3 plus 2 5 inch so this is 5 inch so b is 0 0.5 r1 is 3 and r2 is 5 inch so i will write this is the formula b is 0 0.5 clear into ln of r2 was 5 divided by r1 was 3 now we have the second rectangle is this one so you can see this is the second rectangle its breadth is 2 and r1 for this sec first rectangle sorry this is first one so this r1 will be equal to you can see this will be 5 inch this is r1 and r2 is this one from the center of curvature so this r2 will be equal to 5.5 clear up till this this is 5 and 0 0.5 is 5.5 so i will write b was 2 and ln of 5.5 which is r2 divided by 5 clear so when you solve this this term will give you the value 0 0.446033 inch now you have the area you have this term so just plug it in this formula so r will be equal to 2 divided by 0 0.446033 and that's come out to be 4.4840 inch and this r is distance from center of curvature till the point where its neutral axis lies and you can see this is less than this r dash so it means that your neutral axis is below somewhere this neutral axis will be somewhere below this centroid of this section so this is capital r and this capital r we have calculated 4.4804840 inch now you have this uh, r dash and r so you can just find e dash so e dash e is equal to r dash minus capital r so r dash is 4.625 minus r is 4.4840 so when you calculate it you will get 0 0.1410 inch now you have all these values since we have been asked to find the maximum allowable internal moment so we know that bending stress will maximum at section a either on this point or this point clear so let this point is b point and this point is a point so i will also designate them over here this point is your b point and this point is let your a point and you can see due to this bending moment this point b will be in compression and this will be a point a will be in tension because it will cause this moment will cause this beam to straighten up 
causing this point B is in compression and A is in tension. So we will what we will do is that we will find the uh, we will find uh, maximum bending moment for point A. Clear? As we know that uh, this stress is equal, the formula for stress is equal to M into capital R minus R divided by A into E multiplied by R. Now what is R? I have already told you that R is distance from the center of curvature where you find the stress. So for point A, for example, for point A, we are interested to find out point A. So R A will be this distance. This distance will be R A. Here R A. So R will be replaced with R A. So R I will write this as this. And this R A you can see this is equal to 3 inch. 3 inch. Now you have all the values the bending moment uh, allowable bending stress is given. Let me show you this is allowable bending stress is 24 KSI. So I can write 24 into 10 to power 3 is equal to moment into R capital R is this one which is 0 0.44 uh, sorry not this one this capital R is 4 point here is the R value this is R this is the value 4.480 4840 minus this R A R A is three inch. You can see this is three inch divided by area which was two E is zero point one four one zero multiplied by R A is three. So from here you will get this moment will be equal to twenty four into ten to the power three multiplied by two multiplied by zero point one four one zero multiplied by three divided by four point four eight. 40 minus 3 clear and when you solve this you will get this bending moment comes out to be 13.68 kips into feet clear so, sorry kips into inch okay let me correct it this week kips into inch because all values are in inch and if you want to convert this into feet so you have to divide this by 12 so that will give you 1.14 kips into feet so this is the value of bending moment that is based on point a which is in tension now we will find the bending moment for the point b which is in compression so i will write for point b which is in compression so we will find the bending moment for that so again we know that stress at point b is equal to moment into capital r minus rb divided by e a into a e into rb so from here this moment will be equal to sigma b into a into e multiplied by rb divided by this capital R minus R B. So plug in the values. This moment is equal to sigma B, which is 24 KSI. You can see this is for 24 KSI. So I will write 24 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by area is 2. E is 0. Point. E is 0. 0.1410. 0. 0 0.1410 multiply by RB. Now what is RB? So RB is distance from the center of curvature till the point B. So this total distance you can see this total distance was 5.5 inch. So RB is this one. So 5.5 inch divided by a capital R. We have calculated that capital R and that was 4.4840 minus this 5.5 okay this will be okay and as we know that uh, point b is in compression so this bending stress will be negative so i will write the 
pending stress is negative so again this term will also give you a negative value and this will cancel each other and we will get this bending moment comes out to be 36.64 kips into inch and when you divide it by 12 so you will get 3.05 kips into feet now you have we have two values this pending moment is based on point B which is in compression and this was the moment at point A which is in tension. So we have to choose the largest moment that can be applied to the beam which is this one. We will choose the smallest one because this value will give you the bending stress in this curved beam that will not exceed this allowable bending stress. What if you choose this value you can just plug it in this formula. So you will see that it will exceed the allowable bending stress at point A which is causing failure. So it is better or it is advisable to choose the smallest value. So our answer is choose choose M is equal to 1.14 kips into feet. This is the largest value of bending moment that can be applied to this curved beam. And this was all about our problem 6-114. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-141 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler, 9th edition. So, topic is curved beam. Statement is if P is equal to 3 kN, determine the bending stress developed at point A, B and C of the cross section at section AA. Using this result, sketch the stress distribution on section AA. So you can see this is a curved beam that is acted upon by this load P which is given as 3 kN. So at section AA you have to determine the bending stress at point A, B and C. And after finding this you have to determine the stress distribution on section AA. When you section it the cross section is shown over here. So let's start with the solution. The formula that we, we will use in this curved beam is this one. This is the formula for bending stress where you have M which is moment capital R minus small r. So small r is distance. You can see this is a curved beam. So its radius of curvature is given as 300 millimeter. So this is center of curvature. So capital R is distance from center of curvature till the point where its neutral axis lies. And what is this uh, small r? So small r is distance from this center of curvature to every point where you want to find the stress. Just like here, you can see we have to find the stress at point A. So it will be RA. At point B, it will be RB. And at point C, it will be RC. Clear? And R dash is distance from the center of curvature till the centroid of this section. So let's start with the solution. What will be the first step is that if you cut this uh, uh, curved beam at section AA and draw the free body diagram I have drawn over here. So you will see you will having a shear force V at section AA which will act upward. So it will be V A dash A and you will be having a moment in clockwise direction. This is equal to M A A. So we will find this moment because this internal moment will cause bending effect. So we will find this by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about neutral axis is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So you can see the first moment is due to this P load and perpendicular distance is this 0 0.6 meter or 600 millimeter there and that is producing counterclockwise effect so it will be positive. So I will write P P into 0 0.6. The second moment at this neutral axis will be this moment MAA dash 
that is clockwise so it will be m a a their sum must be equal to 0 so from here this moment m a a will be equal to 0 0.6 time p now you know the value of p that is given as 3 kilo newton so just put it 0 0.6 into 3 kilo newton will give you 1.8 and the unit will be kilo newton into meter this is movement at point a a okay now you have this movement so you can see that due to this movement that is acting like this and due to this load the movement will act like this so it will produce bending effect so i will draw it over here here the movement is like this and due to this load the movement is like this so it will cause this bending in this uh, curved beam and it will try to straighten this curved beam so the top these two portions will be in tension while this point c will be in compression because the top layer is going to stretch while the bottom layer is in is compressed so c is in compression while a and b is in tension so we'll find them one by one so we have this moment m so in by using this formula you can see we have find out the m now we will find this capital r and you can see we have another term e which is equal to r dash minus r what is r dash so r dash is distance from the center of curvature to the centroid so we will find this r dash first so r dash is equal to let me write it distance from center of curvature to the centroid of section okay as we know that we have this section so you can see this is t-shaped so if i draw a horizontal line from this center of curvature and you can see this is uh, t section so let we divide it into two portion the first one is this one and the second one is this one so we know that its centroid can be obtained by using this formula which is equal to r dash will be equal to y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 divided by sum of area which is a1 plus a2 now what is a1 so a1 you can see this is 20 uh, sorry this is the thickness is 50, uh, 20 millimeter this thickness is 20 millimeter and this width is 75 because 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 75 so i can write a1 is 20 divided by 1000 will give you in meters so 0 0.02 multiply by 0 0.075 meter similarly you can see a2 is equal to let me zoom it you can see a2 is area 2 is 25 millimeter by 50 millimeter so i will convert them into meter clear okay so a2 is 0 0.025 meter multiply by 0 0.05 meter and then unit will be square meter and here it will be also square meter now what is y1 dash and y2 dash so y1 dash is distance from this center of uh, uh, distance from this center of uh, center of curvature to the mid of first section so this is the mid of first section so you can see that this distance from centroid curvature is 300 millimeter and half of 20 is 10 so this will be equal to 310 millimeter so i will write this will be y1 dash and y1 dash will be equal to 310 millimeter or that is equal to 0 0.310 what is y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from center of curvature till the sec centroid of second section so this is y2 dash let me write it first y2 dash and y2 dash you can see that this will be equal to 300 plus 10 is 310 and the half of 25 is uh, 310 plus 25 is 330 uh, 3 40 335 okay not no 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 30 up till now this 
plus 20 is 320 and 25 is this so 345 so i will write y2 dash is equal to 345 millimeter so i will write them downward here okay so y1 dash is equal to 0 0.310 meter and y2 dash is equal to 0 0.345 meter now you have all the value you can just plug it in this formula so y1 dash is 0 0.310 multiply by area 0 0.02 into 0 0.075 plus our y2 dash 0 0.345 into a2 which is 0 0.025 multiply by 0 0.05 right by the area a1 and a2 so you can see a1 is 0 0.025 sorry 0 0.02 multiply by 0 0.075 plus a2 is 0 0.025 multiply by 0 0.05 okay so when you solve this you will get r dash comes out to be 0 0.325909 meter so it is basically the distance between uh, center of curvature till the centroid of a section. So let me delete these things. We have now a clear understanding. So we found out that distance from c c this is the centroid which is C. So distance from the center of curvature till the centroid is R dash. Clear R dash. So we, we have find out this R dash comes out to be 0. Point 325909 meter okay so what we will find is that we have find out this one we will find this r and r is equal to you can see you have this formula so i will write it r is equal to area divided by integral of da over r over area a and as we know that area i will choose another color area is equal to total area is equal to a1 plus a2 so a1 is 0 0.02 multiply by 0 0.075 plus a2 is 0 0.025 multiply by 0 0.05 okay so when you solve this you will get this area total area comes out to be 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 unit will be square meter now what about this term that is given in denominator which is integral of da over r for the entire area so you can see we can find this by using this table 6.1 here there are shapes and their formula for integral of da over r for the entire area since you can see we have two portion one and two and both are rectangle so what we will do is that we will use this formula so formula for this so now this is the line which is passing through the center of the curvature so you can see from the center of curvature the first side or first portion of this rectangle is at a distance of r1 and second one is at a distance of r2 and the width of this rectangle is b so we will take these values over here you can see that for the first this is the width which is total 75 clear and this will be r1 r1 will be how much it will be 0 0.3 meter and what is r2 so r2 is distance from center of curvature till the second portion of the rectangle so total will be 20 plus 300 is 2, 320 so breadth is 75 so i will write it is equal to breadth is 75 so which is 0 0.075 clear and the formula here is this one b into ln of r2 or r1 so b is 0 0.075 ln of r2 was 0 0.32 divided by r1 was 0 0.3 clear plus now we have another rectangle this rectangle so you can see r1 will be this one this will be R1, which will be equal to 320 millimeter, R0.3, 
to 0 and r2 will be distance from this center of the curvature till this so this total height is uh, 50 plus 20 plus 30, 300 is 370 so r2 will be uh, 0 0.370 and what is the width r bit so it is 25 millimeter so i will write it 25 millimeter is 0 0.025 into ln of r2 or r1 so r2 was 0 0.37 clear divide by r1 r r1 will be r1 was 0 0.32 okay so when you solve this you will get integral of d a over r for the entire area comes out to be 8.4699 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 now you have the value of a in, in this integral so just plug it in this formula so i will write it 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 8 8.4699 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so when you solve this you will get this r will be equal to 0.324678 meter and what is this r r is distance from centroid of the, uh, center of curvature till the neutral axis so as r is less than this uh, which so it will be somewhere here it will be somewhere here this will be your r r capital r okay now we have these values both values e n e this value so e will be equal to r dash r dash is how much we have calculated r dash is this one so 0 0.325909 minus capital r is 0 0.324678 so when you calculate it you will get this e will be equal to 1.2314 into 10 to the power minus 3 and the unit will be meter now you have all these things so just put it in this formula i will write the formula downward r on next page so formula for stress is equal to m into capital r minus r divided by a e into r okay number one for point a the stress for point a so r will be equal to r a and you can see that at point a the r will be this is point a you can see this is point a so r will be 300 millimeter so i will write put r is equal to 300 millimeter or 0 0.3 meter and put the value so sigma a will be equal to what was the value of moment that we calculated if you remember 1.8 kilo newton this is the value 1.8 kilo newton so 1.8 into kilo is 10 to the power 3 multiply by capital r was 0 0.324678 minus r is 0 0.3 divide by area so area we calculated was 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by this uh, E which is 1.2314 into 10 is power minus 3 and R A is 0 0.3. Okay. So when you calculate it, you will get stress at bending stress at point A comes out to be 43.7 megapascal. So the value is plus that it means that point A is in tension. Okay. We will move towards second part. So that is for point B, stress for point B. So po at point B, we have R is equal to RB. And let me show you that RB is at this distance. So this is 300 plus this thickness was 20. So 320 millimeter R that will be equal to 0 0.320. So put it in this formula, you will get stress at point B is equal to moment into r minus rb divided by area e into rb so put the value 
m is 1 into 10 to the power 1.8 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by r is 0 0.324678 minus rb is 0 0.320 divided by area which is 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by e which is 1.2314 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by rb is 0 0.320 so when you solve this, you will get stress at point B comes out to be 7.77 mega Pascal. And this value is also positive. So it means that point B will be in tension. Okay. The last part is that we have to find the stress, bending stress at point C. So for point C, for point C, R will be equal to RC. And you can see that RC is this distance from top till the end. So this total distance is 300 plus 20 plus 50. So 370. So RC is equal to 370 which is equal to 0 0.370. Okay. So again put it in this above formula. So sigma C will be equal to M. M is 1.8 into 10 to the power 3. Multiply by capital R is 0 0.324678 minus RC is 0 0.370 divided by area which is 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by E 1.2314 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by 0 0.370. So when you solve this you will get this stress comes out to be negative because this value will give you minus. So this will be equal to minus 65.1 mega Pascal or you can also write it as sigma C is 65.1 mega Pascal and instead of negative you can write that point C is in compression. Okay now you have all these values so this is the answer of our first part in second part we have been asked to determine the sketch distribution on section AA. So what if I draw section a, a like this for example if uh, this is the beam clear so when you cut it and draw it like this so i will take this initial section is like and this will be this will be curved like this let this is its neutral axis at this point it has a neutral axis this is your point a this is your point b and this is your point c so at a we have 43.7 mega Pascal so it will be like this let this is 43.7 mega Pascal and at neutral axis we have zero and it will be like a parabolic curve it will be like a this okay at point B we will have 7.77 mega Pascal and till neutral point it will become zero now at C we have a compression so you can see at point C this is equal to 65.1 mega Pascal that is in compression side so this curve will be like this it will be like this okay so this is the stress distribution along section AA this was section AA and that was all about this problem 6-141. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. In this video we are going to solve problem 6-142. That is taken from chapter number 6, Bending, and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler, 9th edition. And the topic is Curved Beam. So statement is, if the maximum bending stress at section AA is not allowed to exceed 150 megapascal, determine the maximum allowable force that can be applied to the end of the beam. So you can see this is a curved beam, clear, and it is given that allowable stress should not exceed 150 megapascal at section AA clear and we have to find the largest load P that can be applied to this 
curved beam. So let's start with the solution. As we know that the formula that are used in curved beam is this one. This is for stress. This is E, which is R dash minus R1, R capital R. So R dash is distance from the center of curvature till the centroid of this section. Clear, this will be R dash. And R capital R is distance from the center, centroid, uh, center of curvature till the neutral axis because in curved beam neutral axis and centroidal axis do not pass each other so we'll find this term as well and this r capital r can be obtained by using this formula so we'll see them in a while so first step is that if you cut this beam curved beam at section a a so i have already drawn the free body diagram over here fbd so you will have a shear force will be, which will be acting upwards so this will be v which is V A dash A and you will be having a moment which is equal to M A A. So we'll find this M A A by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about neutral axis must be equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about this neutral axis the first moment will be this P into perpendicular distance is this 0 0.6 meter and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive and at this we have a moment maa which is clockwise and their sum must be equal to zero so i will write p into 0 0.6 minus maa is equal to zero so it means that maa will be equal to 0 0.6 time p we do not know p so this will be maa which was which will be 0.6 p okay now you can see this moment and due to this force there will be a moment will causing bending moment in this curved portion so as a result this moment is this and this moment is this so it will straighten up this beam curved beam over here so this top portion will be in tension clear and this bottom portion will be in compression so we have to find the maximum load so for that we will find maximum bending stress at this top as well as maximum stress at the bottom this is for top and this is for bottom and from this we will find the p value okay now we have this moment so what we will do is that we will find this term which is r dash so r dash is distance from cent uh, center of curvature till the centroid of this section so this is the section you can see section a a so this is the center of curvature so if i draw a horizontal line from center of curvature so we will find this r dash now you can see this t section will be divided into two portion this will be first portion and this one will be second one okay so there are two rectangle so we know that we have for this two rectangles we have centroid formula will be equal to sum of y dash bar into a divided by sum of area now we have two sections so y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 divided by a1 plus a2 we will find this a1 so a1 you can see this total width is 75 millimeter 25 25 25 so 75 millimeter is 0 0.075 multiply by this thickness is 20 millimeter which is 0 0.02 and the unit will be square meter now a2 will be how much so you can see the height is 50 so 0 0.050 into thickness is 25 millimeter which is 0 0.025 and the unit will be square now what is y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from this center of curvature till the mid of this section this is your y1 dash so this is y1 dash and y1 dash you can see distance from center of curvature till point a is 300 radius is given so half of 20 is 10 so 300 plus 10 is 310 so 310 will be equal to 0 0.310 meter and y2 dash y2 dash is distance from neutral uh, sorry centroid uh, center of curvature till the center of second section so this is y2 dash and this y2 dash will be equal to let me show you 300 plus this 20 
is 20 and half of 50 which is 25. So 320 plus 25 is 345 meter millimeter. So 345 is actually 0 0.345 meter. Now you have all this value just plug it in this formula. So R dash will be equal to Y1 which is 0 0.310 multiplied by area is 0 0.075 multiplied by 0 0.02 plus R2 Y2 dash. Y2 dash is 0 0.345 multiplied by area which is 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.025 divided by sum of area A1 and A2. So A1 is 0 0.075 multiplied by 0 0.02 plus 0 0.050 multiplied by 0 0.025. Okay. So when you calculate it, you will get R dash will be equal to 0 0.325909 meter. So let me draw it. So it is distance from neutral axis till the centroid of this section. Let centroid is this C point clear. So it will be the distance from center of curvature till this point. So this is R dash. Okay, R dash and that comes out to be 0 0.325909 meter. Now what we will do is that we will find the second term that is capital R. So capital R is distance from center, center of curvature till the point where neutral axis lie. And you can see this R can be obtained by using this formula which is equal to A divide by integral of dA over R over the area A. What is A? So A is equal to total area of cross sections which is equal to A1 plus A2. So when you add A1 plus A2, so A1 is 0 0.02 multiply by 0 0.05 plus A2 is 0 0.05 multiply by 0 0.025. So when you add them, you will get this area and this area comes out to be 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 square meter. We have find out this. Now we'll find this term integral of dA over R for the entire area. So that can be obtained by using this table 6.6-1. So where you can see in one column shapes are given and in another column the formula for this is given. Since we have rectangle shape, there are two rectangle Remember that this line is the line that is passing through center of curvature. So from center of curvature, the first end of this rectangle is at a distance of R1 and second end is at a distance of R2. And the width of rectangle is B. So we will start for first one. So you can see this is first one. So this center of from center of curvature till the start of first rectangle, this, this is the first rectangle, this R1 will be equal to 300 millimeter which is 30.300 and R2 will be this one which is equal to 0 0.320 meter and width is this one which is 75 millimeter. So I will write down these all values so you can see the formula for this is B. So B for the first rectangle was 0 0.075 ln of R2. R2 was 0 0.320 divide by 0 0.30. Now for the second rectangle you can see this is the second rectangle. This is second rectangle. One edge of this from the centroid is this which is 0 0.320 and that will R1 for the second rectangle and R2 is this one which is total height from the center of curvature which is 0 0.345 uh, sorry 0 0.37. Let me show you 0 0.37. You can see this distance is 300, this is 20 and this is 50. So 370. So R2 is 0 0.37 and breadth is 25 millimeter or 25 millimeter for the section 2. Okay. So write, it's, write down its formula as well. So I will write B is 0 0.075 and multiply by ln of R2 was 0 0.370 divided by 0 0.320. Okay. Now when you solve this, this integral of 
B A over R for the entire area comes out to be 8.46994 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. I will also represent this R. So R is distance from neutral axis till the point where its neutral axis lie. You can see this is its neutral axis. And this capital R is less than this R. This is capital R which is 0 0.324678 meter in curved beam the neutral axis and centroidal axis do not pass so you can see the difference over here now we have this so you can just put put in formula number three which is e is equal to r dash minus r so r dash is 0 0.325909 you can see this one minus this capital r we do not find r so a is this one 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 and integral term is this divide by 8.46994 into 10 to the power minus 3 so r will be equal to 0 0.324678 meter okay now just put it in here 0 0.24678 so you will get E is equal to 1.231 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 and unit will be meter. These are very lengthy problems so you have to be very careful. Uh, you should not have any mistake. Now you have all this value you can just use this formula. Sigma is equal to let me write sigma is equal to M into capital R minus small r divided by E E into R. Now what is R? R is distance from center of curvature to the point where you find the stress. So we are interested to find out the maximum stress so that will be in outer region and this lower region, top region and bottom region. So it means point A and C are our main focus. So point for point A R will be equal to R A that will be equal to 300 millimeter which is 0 0.3 meter and for C R will be equal to 0 0.37 meter okay so first we will find for point A so for point A R is equal to R A which is equal to 0 0.3 meter and we have maximum we know that allowable stress is equal to maximum moment into R d minus R A divided by area into E into R A. We have maximum allowable stress is 150 megapascal. So what we will do is that point A is in tension. I will write point A is in tension. I have already told you about this. So this allowable stress will be positive. So 150 megapascal, so 150 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to moment, moment is 0 0.6 times P and capital R is 0 0.32467 minus R is 0 0.3 divided by area which is 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by E is 1.2314 into 10 to the power minus 3 and R is 0 0.3. So from here you can calculate this P will be equal to 150 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 1.2314 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.32467 minus 0.3. So when you solve this you will get P will be equal to 10.10.292.09 or that will be equal to 10.29 or 10 raised to power 3 kilo Newton. Now this is the maximum load P that can be applied at due to the maximum moment at point. Uh, a for point C for point C I will write for point C 
which is in compression we have r c is equal to r c is equal to 0 0.370 meter so just put it in this formula sorry this formula allowable stress is equal to m into r minus r c divided by a in e into r c so moment will be equal to allowable stress multiplied by area multiplied by e multiplied by r c divided by r minus r c plug in the all the values so moment will be equal to allowable stress is this is in compression so it will be minus 150 into 10 to the power 6 into a is 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 e is 1.231 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by this rc which is 0 0.370 divide by this capital r is um, 0 0.32467 minus 0 0.370 and that is equal to moment so moment is equal to 0 0.6 time p i will replace this moment with 0 0.6 time p clear so that we should have as we have less spacing so 0 0.6 time p if you divide 0 0.6 on both sides so you will get P will be equal to and solve for P. So you will get P will be equal to 6911.55 Newton or that will be equal to 6.91 kilo Newton. So this is the value of this is the value of load for the maximum stress at point C. Now you have two value. One is this one and another one is this one. So you have always you have to choose load that will be lesser. So 6.91 kilonewton is the amount of load that can be applied to the point E. This is 6.91 kilonewton, which is the answer of our this question. Why we are choosing the smallest load? Because you can see this is satisfying this condition. So when you put this load, P is equal to 10 point in this equation, clear in this equation. So it will exceed the allowable stress which will cause failure. So we will choose this smaller load which is 6.91 that will satisfy the condition. And uh, that was all about this problem 6-42. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-143 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler, 9th edition. And the topic that we are covering here is curved beam. So statement is the elbow of pipe has outer radius of 0 0.75 inch and inner radius is 0 0.63 inch. If the assembly is subjected to movement of 25 pound into inch, determine the maximum stress developed at section AA. So you can see this is the elbow of the pipe and the cross section is shown over here. Outer radius is 0 0.75 and inner radius is 0 0.63. And what if it is applied with a movement of uh, 25 pounds into inch, so you have to determine the stresses, maximum stresses in this elbow at section AA. So you can see the maximum stresses will be always at top or bottom layer. And you can see this elbow has a curvature of radius 1 inch. The side, If you cut it, the side view is also given over here. So you have to determine the normal uh, maximum stresses at this point. Let this is your point A. And this is your point B. Clear? So let's start with the solution. As we have already, moment is 25 pound into inch. And formula used in this curve beam, our stress is equal to moment into capital R minus R divided by A into E into R. And what is capital R? So capital R is distance from this center of curvature 
till the point where its neutral axis lie that is capital r and r dash is distance from the center of curvature till the centroid so this is r dash clear and area is the cross sectional area of this pipe which is hollow pipe this will be the area and e is obtained by r dash minus capital r and r is distance from this centroid the center of curvature to the any point where you find to want to find the stress so here we are going to find out the stress at r a and at r b so let's start the solution so we will need this r dash what is r dash so you can see if i proceed this center of curvature and axis that is passing through center of curvature as this is the side view from this side so you can see center of curvature will be exactly at this point this is your center of curvature and the distance from center of curvature till the centroid of this section this distance is known as r dash i will mention it over here this is your r dash okay and this r dash you can see i will write it over here this r dash is equal to distance from this center till this point this is 1 inch already and the out this radius which is 0.75 so total is 1.75 so i will write it r dash is equal to 1.75 inch is equal to 1.75 inch now we will find this capital r so how you will find this capital r so for, for capital r you can see this capital r is equal to area divided by integral of da over r over entire area so first we will find this area so you can see this is a hollow pipe having outer radius 0.75 and inner radius 0.63 so for that we have formula that is equal to pi c outer square minus pi c inner square so put the value you have c outer which is 0.75 and c inner is 0.63 so pi into 0.75 square minus pi into 0.63 square and when you solve this you will get area will be equal to 0.1656 pi you can multiply 0.1656 for 3.1417 so you will get area and the unit will be square inch now what about this term da over r for the entire area so for that we will take the help of table 6.1 where in one column you have shape and in another column you have formula integral da over r for the entire area as we have circle this is solid circle having da is equal to 2 pi into r dash minus r dash square minus c square but this formula is valid for solid shaft solid shaft or solid cylinder clear for circular rod or for circular rod or pipe i will write pipe this formula will become equal to integral of da over r for entire area will be equal to 2 pi into r dash minus r square minus c outer square for c outer minus 2 pi into r dash minus r dash square minus c inner square why because we are going out to find out this this section of the formula for this section clear not the hollow term so now you just put the value 2 pi r dash was 1.75 minus under the root 1.75 square minus c outer is 0.75 square okay minus 2 pi into r dash is 1.75 minus under the root r square which is 1.75 square minus c inner is 0.63 square okay so 
when you solve this you will get the term d a over r for entire area for this hollow pipe or elbow is comes out to be 0.323758 inch okay now you have the value of a and you have this term so just plug it in this formula so we will get this r r is equal to a a is how much 0.1656 times pi divided by this term 0.323758 inch this one okay so when you solve this you will get this capital a will be 1.6069 inch okay you can see that your neutral axis will be always less lesser than the centroidal axis so it will be somewhere here so this will be your r r is distance from center of curvature till the point where neutral axis lie so this blue one is its neutral axis okay this is capital r now you have all these things just find e e is equal to r dash minus r so e is equal to r dash minus capital R so R dash is already we have find out this is 1.75 so 1.75 minus R is 1.6069 so when you solve this you will get R will be equal to 0 0.143097 inch now you have all the value just plug it in this formula so for point A this is your point A this is your point A. This small r will be equal to R A for point A. And for R is equal to this point B. This R will be equal to R B for point B. And we know that R A is distance from center of curvature till point A which is 1 inch. And R B will be equal to this distance so 1 plus this diameter which is 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 is 1.5 plus this one is 2.5 so write down here r a is equal to 1 inch and r b is equal to 2.5 inch okay now we are interested to find out the stress maximum stresses so for point a this stress will be equal to sigma a and that is capital m into r minus r a divided by area into e into r a so put the value m is given as 25 in pound into inch so 25 multiplied by capital r is 1.6069 minus r a is 2.5 player divide by divide by uh, oh, sorry r a r a is one inch okay so let me correct it this is one inch divide by area so area is one point zero point one six five six zero point six five six multiply by pi e is this one zero point one four three zero nine seven multiply by r a is one so when you solve this you will get stress at point a will be 204 psi as the value is positive so it means that point a is in tension this is the value of point a now what we will do is that we will find the maximum stress for point b so for point b stress at point b will be equal to capital m into r minus small r b divided by a into e into r b so plug in the formula plug in the value a moment is 25 capital r is 1.6069 minus r b is 1.2.5 r b is 2.5 divided by area which is 0 0.1656 times pi multiply by e is 0. 14309 and rb is 2.5 
So when you solve this, you will get stress at point B comes out to be minus 120 PSI. Or you can see stress at point B comes out to be 120 PSI. Negative sign means that point B is in compression. Okay. And that is the answer of our this question. So this was all about this problem 6-43. I hope you have enjoyed this video. This video was requested by one of the subscriber to solve this curved beam when there is an angle. So I have solved this. I hope you have liked this and you have learning as well. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting me.